Hi, I'm Bob with Wolf Ridge. Guys, I'm back in the wood yard once again here at Wolf Ridge, and we are getting set up to do Honda application testing on the Yapa 365 Pro Road, and also we'll be doing application testing today on our Wolfpack hydraulic power pack. I'll show you what the guys are up to here, and we're gonna make some firewood. Now, this setup might look a little bizarre, um, because it kind of is. What we're doing here is we've got the 365 Pro Road firewood processor, the Yapa 422 rack, and then we're doing some more testing on our FC16 belt conveyor. You may have seen this in some videos from Back 40 Firewood. We were testing this without any cleats on it, and we had a little bit of a struggle getting the wood out of the hopper, so we got on some, uh, some nice lower profile cleats, as well as the rough edge belt, and we're gonna run the firewood directly out of the Yapa into this hopper, and you guys are gonna see firsthand what this looks like and um, how it operates. Then we're gonna go up to the top, we've got the grizzly bars here, and being a box wedge, this machine does make more chaff and debris. Um, the lower end, like the 365 Pro Road with the box wedge, that does not um, have the perfect clean system in it like the bigger processors do. So all of the extra kindling, chaff, debris, and all that is gonna go up this conveyor. Yapa does make a set of grizzly bars that would work really well on here. I just don't have them here at the moment. So all that stuff's gonna go up this FC16 and then into our dump trailer. And the dump trailer is sitting at an angle like this just so it doesn't fill up with water while it's sitting back here. But I think that's actually gonna work to our benefit too because as it's filling up, wood is gonna kinda roll to the back end of it, hopefully. So I'll show you inside the processor quick. We've got the four-way perfect split. And that's the only way we're offering this 365 with perfect split is with the four-way. And we're gonna be running a bunch of oak. And I have a couple of these are pretty nasty looking this one's got a real bend to it, uh, some knots on there. So I'll be a little bit careful as I'm running the wood through this, kind of read the wood as I'm going. So we're gonna end up hopefully making some nice firewood out of these less than ideal oak logs. So the guys from Engine Power are here hooking up all of the diagnostics to our IGX 700. As you can see, they've got a whole bunch of probes going into this engine and then into the laptop here. They have software they're gonna keep track of um, a few different parameters from this engine, if I'm correct, I think oil temperature, spark plug temperature, sure. ambient temperature, throttle position, and what about vibration? Vibration as well, yes. Vibration as well. So basically they're gonna be able to see what this, how much labor we're putting on this engine, especially in the cutting cycle. That's what seems to take the most amount of hydraulic flow on these Yapa processors is when we are running that hydraulic chainsaw. But what this does then is after we get certified, we pass the certification, that means that when this has to go somewhere for warranty service to any authorized Honda service center, it means that the warranty is honored at that place. You can't just throw an engine on something and send it out the door. So we try to keep all that stuff on the up and up. We're gonna get past this application test and then later today we have it on the Wolfpack hydraulic power pack. All right guys, I lied a little bit. First we're gonna adjust the tracking on that one, but I gotta get rolling splitting with the, the Yapa here. So I am gonna put the camera here and uh, Mike's gonna adjust that FC16 in the background and we're ready to go. We're off the camera now. So. I'm gonna slow this down. So right now I'm gonna slow down the Yapa conveyor a little bit here. It doesn't have to be going that fast to get into the into there. Put my earplugs in. And I'm gonna back this log up a little bit to adjust my log stop. Are you guys ready to go wide open or no? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right.
Well, I really would have liked to have gotten um, some different camera angles, but it was hard to do that while the application test was in process because in order to do their graphs properly and everything, we have to keep the machine labored and loaded. So uh, we basically just kept getting the log rack reloaded. Uh, Mike was running the tractor back here and I was running the machine. And uh, at one point the FC-16 ran out of gas. So we ended up with a big mound of firewood <laughs> inside of the hopper and kind of overfilling it. Uh, but I'll show you guys what we ended up with in the trailer behind me. This is the pile of wood that we made. Um, this was about just a touch over an hour running the 365 and I am running much less than ideal logs here. Something to keep in mind for firewood processors, especially the smaller end of things. Um, the 365 has a max diameter of 14 inch and to really fly with this machine, you want to be probably in that 12 inch diameter range. And, um, you know, the saying garbage in garbage out, it, it's true. If you have the kind of logs that we're putting in here right now that have crooks and uh, knots and stuff hanging off of them, you tend to make a lot more uh, debris. These two actually aren't that bad right here, but we did have um, a bunch of them from the piles behind me. As you can see, uh, this is great stuff for the splitters and for demonstrating that. But when you're running a processor, you really want to be getting nice straight logs to put through that machine. That's how you make your productivity. That's how you make great productivity with a firewood processor. By the time you guys see this video, we will be well on our way to Paul Bunyan and the machines behind me are going to Paul Bunyan. So if you want to see these machines in action, make sure you come and see us there. We will be in the same booth as we were last year um, on the outer edge of the track. There's a big white building and um, you'll see the Wolf Ridge tent. Uh, you'll see all the Wolf Ridge goodies, Yapa, firewood processors. We'll have the, the Kindlets and the Split of 400 there from Fieldwood. And um, we've got pricing and tech specs, photos, videos, and more for all of this on our website as well as all of the show information, the event schedule, and our dealer locator. www.wolfridgemfg.com is where you can find that. If you'd like more information on any of this stuff, visit the website or give us a call. I will make sure to put all of those links in the description below. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for the support. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's next at Wolfridge.